I came in here to tell you, you need to call Marcus. Marcus? About what? I don't know, but he left me a message that he wants you to call him. Well, if he wants me to call, why would he be leaving a message for you? Because when Marcus really needs you, he calls me. He's only ever done that twice, which means whatever it is he needs, it's important. All right, Donna, I'll call him. Today, Harvey. Today. Hey, Harvey. Glad you called. I take it Donna gave you my message? She did. What's going on? I'm getting a divorce. What? I know. And I know it is a big ask, but I was hoping that you could represent me. Marcus, hold on. When did this happen? The last time I was up there, everything seemed fine. Yeah, well, it's not fine. And as much as I hate it, this is what she wants. And if you want me to help you, I'm going to need to know more than that. What do you want me to tell you, Harvey, that we grew apart? Well, we did. Bullshit. I know you. It's not the full story. You're right. It's not. And I will tell you everything when you get up here. I didn't say I was coming up there, and I'm not going to unless you tell me what's going on right now. I slept with someone, all right? You did what? I was stupid, and I had an affair, and I know you want to rip my head off right now. You're damn right I do. Because you know better than anyone what that does to a family. And right now, I don't care. What the hell did you just say to me? Harvey. You're always telling your clients that your issues are your issues and that you don't judge people for what they do. So right now, I don't need to hear how I screwed up. What I need to hear is that you're on your way up here to help make sure that I don't lose my kids. What are you talking about? I'm talking about custody, Harvey. Because Katie hired a shark to represent her. Which means even if you didn't want this to turn into a fight. I can't risk not treating it like one. And the best way I know to avoid a fight is to show up with a howitzer. And Harvey, the biggest howitzer I know is you. All right, Marcus, I'll come up. Hey, did you get a hold of Marcus? I did. Then what's going on? He's not sick again, is he? No, nothing like that, but it's still not good. Then what is it? He cheated on Katie. She found out, and now she wants a divorce. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? No, that's not all. He wants me to come up there and represent him. So what are you going to do? What do you think I'm going to do? I'm going to help him. OK, look, I have to ask, are you sure that you want to do this? I appreciate your concern, Donna, but it's my brother. What am I supposed to do? All I'm saying is that this could bring up a lot of for you. And I don't disagree, but like I said, it's my brother. What am I supposed to do? OK, but before you go, after what just happened, I think you should tell Robert. I already did. How did he take it? I have to give him credit. He didn't hesitate for a second. He said, family comes first. Always does, always will. Harvey, what are you doing here? I'm here because Marcus asked me to represent him. Then you shouldn't be contacting me without my lawyer. No, I shouldn't. But I'm not here as a lawyer. I'm here as your brother-in-law. What does that mean? It means I know Marcus still loves you, and I need to know if there isn't still a way that you guys can work this out. And as much as I wish that could happen, it's too late for that. Look, Marcus told me what happened. And you're still standing here trying to defend him. No, I'm not. When he told me, believe me, I wanted to lay him out myself. But I also know what it feels like to have your family ripped apart, and I don't want to see that happen. And you think I do? No, I don't. But I'm telling you, the second lawyers get involved, it's going to get messy. It's already messy, Harvey. And my lawyer is already involved. So be Marcus's lawyer or don't. But either way, I can't talk to you anymore. Harvey, you were supposed to be here an hour ago. Yeah, there was something I had to do first. Yeah, I know what you had to do, and I wish you hadn't done it. Listen to me. Harvey, you said you were going to come up here and help me not stir things up with Katie. Marcus, you said you wanted peace, so I tried to make peace. Yeah, well, what you did was make it worse. What does that mean you've been sanctioned? Look, it's a fine for contacting her without her lawyer. It's nothing. No, I know you, and there's something else. 
If I file some kind of motion and it's a coin toss, the judge probably rules in their favor. Are you kidding me? Marcus, I am sorry. You asked me to come up here, and like it or not, this is tough for me too, so I tried with Katie. Okay, Harvey, I get it. I just wish there was a chance in hell that it would have worked. So what are we gonna do now? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You want a peaceful settlement? We're gonna get you a peaceful settlement. Gentlemen, sorry to keep you waiting. My client and I were just discussing a few last matters. Not a problem. Now that you're ready, I suggest we start with division of property. Actually, we'd like to start with the most important issue. Our kids. Exactly, because we're seeking sole custody. What? We, we didn't talk about that. And what was or wasn't previously discussed is irrelevant. That's bullshit. Marcus, let me handle this. Because they don't really want sole custody. They just want to start on one end because they're expecting us to start on the other. But we don't want to fight. So why don't we just all start in the middle? I'll tell you why. Because we're not moving on this at all. Excuse me? Katie, don't do this. You did this to yourself, Marcus. No, he didn't. He may have screwed up, but you don't have the grounds to take the kids. Actually, we do. Bullshit. And I'm not gonna let you play games like you did with those sanctions. What sanctions? Well, you know what sanctions. The ones you had your lawyer slap me with for coming to talk to you. I didn't authorize anything like that. You didn't need to. After you told me he approached you improperly. You thought it was a good idea to use that to bias the judge. I thought it would be a good idea to protect my client's interests. Well, those kids aren't just your client's interests. They're my brother's children. Well, then maybe he should have cared enough to put their needs ahead of his own. Katie, he may not have been a perfect husband, but I am not gonna let you say he's not a good father. How would you know what kind of father he is? I'll tell you how. Every time I've seen them with him, every time he has told me about them. And what about what he told you about why we're splitting up? Just because he slept with someone else doesn't mean he's not a good Slept with someone else? Oh, my God. He didn't tell you what happened, did he? Katie. Marcus, what's she talking about? You know what? You can have that conversation on your own time. Because I'm not going to let you tell me this is all my fault when you don't even know the whole story. But let me be clear. I'm taking the kids because that is what is best for them. And if you have a problem with that, Harvey, you can take it up with the man sitting next to you. Because I'm done defending myself. Katie. OK, you tell me, and you tell me now. What was that all about? I was gambling again. I don't believe this. It was just for a few weeks. It was almost a year ago, and I've been in a program ever since. Let me guess. You didn't tell Katie just like you didn't tell me. I was going to tell you. When? After the judge took your kids? Because they're right, Marcus. They do have the grounds to do that, and you gave it to them. Harvey, there's got to be something you can do here. Not when I don't have all the facts. I point blank asked you what happened, and you said it was because of an affair. Look, I know I should have told you, but I'm telling you now. Well, then you tell me right now anything else I should know, and I mean anything. Haley caught me making a bet. And I told her that I was just playing a game and that it could be our little secret. Are you kidding Hey, where are you going? Back to New York. Oh, please, you can't. These are my kids. Your kids that you asked to lie for you, which makes you no different than mom was. That is not fair. What mom did is nothing like this. You asked your kids to keep your secrets. How is that different? Was one time. And Haley had no idea what I was doing was wrong. You know what? Tell yourself whatever you want about what kind of man you are. You're not just a shitty husband. You're a brother and I'm done here.